is watching Harry Potter or movies like it considered participating in the occult? So from our conversation we just had to this question, what do you say about stuff like that? You know, all things are lawful for me. All things are not helpful. All things are lawful. Um, I don't be, want to be brought into the power of any. All things are lawful for me. Not, all things are not helpful. All things are lawful for me. Um, uh, all things do not edify. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm careful about the stuff that I watch. And, you know, when you're, when you're talking about Harry Potter, uh, when it first came out, it was a big fat deal. I've watched, you know, I just never got into it. So, uh, uh, cause I was older and, um, my, that's not something that I had my kids reading. Um, I am, uh, I am, uh, diverse in my reading material. I you know, I, I don't, I just, I don't just, uh, hang with Christian books and, and that kind of stuff. And so, uh, I've read a number of things over the years and, and so, um, there's there's a lot of excuses that you that, that you can give for uh, wanting to be involved in in certain things that, that go along with the culture and uh, on the one hand I, I don't want to be superstitious and, and just go crazy on things I just I just want to be a little stitious and <laughs> uh, I you know I don't I don't want to be ridiculous on things but um, on the other hand I I don't uh, want to do things that are not glorifying to the Lord. And, and certainly I watch out for my kids. And so when I, when I look at those kinds of issues, uh, I, I look at what the influences are. I look at what the message is. It's just like anything. It's, a, it, it's like this with TV. It's like this with music. It's like this with movies. Uh, there, there are some things that are a weight and they're not a wing. And what I want in my life is, it, are, are not things that hold me back, but uh, things that spur me on. And so I don't have a problem with fantasy, you know, I don't have a problem with Disney movies necessarily, depending on, you know, on, on what they're doing and, and that kind of thing. But I'm careful about uh, what I do with my kids. And so uh, if it's all about witches and warlocks and, and it's uh, not glorifying to Christ, or actually, let me put it this way, if it's, if it's not something, if it is something that uh, tears down, a relationship with Jesus and, and tears down uh, the concept of a right walk with God, then, you know, it's it's not something that I'm probably going to be placing in front of an eight-year-old. Uh, what I, what I want to do is I want to encourage them uh, to walk with God and to, and to serve him and, and things like that. And so uh, there's, there's plenty of fantasy that, that you can get that um, is at the very least innocuous and uh, some of the fantasy, like uh, C.S. Lewis with uh, mm. Chronicles of Narnia and, and stuff, it's just really good, right. and uh, um, it's something that's glorifying to the Lord. And so, those are things that I'm that I'm looking at in that whole thing. And the reason I'm I'm pu I'm putting it in those in those terms is because Harry Par Harry Potter is a '90s issue, and there's going to be a, you know there's going to be another series of books that, that come up and. They seem to get more and more anti-God, more and more anti-biblical uh, as time goes on, and um, people have agendas. And so, again, it's like that with media, with media, it's like that with books, it's like that with all of these things. And so I have to go through and I have to have some discernment on uh, what I'm putting in front of my children, uh, especially in uh, one of the one of the things that um, I've always known about the enemy is that the guy again is an opportunist, and he'll use whatever he can in a person's life, and and so you know back in the back in the um, '80s, Dungeons and Dragons uh, was a big fat deal, and one of the problems with role playing games uh, was the uh, the fact that what you're doing is you're playing a role in your mind, and so if you're somebody who goes around slaughtering people. And and uh, you know uh, uh, you're immoral on these on all these different levels, and you just go, well, that's just my game character. Well, no, Jesus said that if you thought it, you done, you know, if you if you thunk it, um, you're in the same position as somebody who does it, as as far as the heart goes, um, not as far as consequences necessarily goes, but as far as the heart heart goes. And so, you know, we need to watch our hearts, and. Um, uh, it's I, again. It's like that on on all kinds of levels. So there are movies I don't go to. 
uh, because I'm, I'm just not interested in all the garbage. And uh, there are books that I'm not into. And it, again, it's because uh, there's, there's so much to read uh, on this planet mm. that I don't need to waste my time uh, with uh, stuff that's not profitable. And, and so, you know, I just watch it with my kids. So, so your, your conversation just kind of reminded me of Dungeons & Dragons in the, in the 90s. It's, I can see, like, people getting hooked on that, and now we have this huge, I never watched it, but it's hugely popular, uh, Game of Thrones type of stuff. Uh-huh. And the guys I talk to say, why do you like it? And, they're, and you know, they're non-Christians and stuff. And talking to them, obviously it's rated R and stuff, but the, 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 the occult, demonic, spiritual stuff is way more intense Mm-hmm. And then a lot of it, a huge sexual immorality. Right, so now yeah. you're talking about adult issues. Right. And you can just see Satan use that. So when I look at this whole thing, and it's not just Harry Potter, but uh, for an, for example, you, you mentioned Disney movies. Uh, for my daughter, we went to Disneyland, and uh, she met the Little Mermaid. Uh-huh. And the, the princess or whoever was dressed up, hey, who's your favorite princess? Or, Am I your favorite princess? And she's like, well, my dad won't let me watch you yet. <laughs> and the, this teenager prince, the little mermaid looks to me and she gives me this weird look and I just start laughing you know but it, it's because of the fundamental principle and in that movie yeah. you have a daughter who refuses to obey her dad because she wants mm-hmm. to go after a boy yeah. and she ends up selling her soul or her voice to a witch right. in order in the cult in order to get what she wants and it just ends up becoming this huge mess right. and at the end the, the Disney movie is like oh well, ha- happily ever after And but for me I, obviously, my daughter, on some level, or, or going out in the world, is probably going to run into this, and mm-hmm. people are talking about it. So I want to train her. So right. I sit down and watch with her, and I help her to point and see things out. Yeah. So that now, when she's going through that stuff, she's not getting plucked off by the Harry Potters and stuff. She has wisdom to know and yeah. see the spiritual things behind all this stuff. Right. And so I really love the Narnia because of Christian allegory of C.S. Lewis. But even like um, uh, um, J.A.R. Token... Um, uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. It's not a Christian allegory, but he went he went to Cambridge with C.S. Lewis, and a lot of mm-hmm. those uh, evil versus light type of stuff is really good to just stop, pause the movie, and go, hey, what do you think? What's going on here? And it's a really good right. training thing that you can use. Yeah. And that's, you know, again, that's one of the things that, that you want to do with your kids. It's like, you know, there, there are cartoons that my wife refused to let my kids watch, mm. like Rugrats and, and that kind of stuff. And the reason had to do with the attitude. So you got a, a bunch of kids in, in the in the cartoon that that are acting in ways that are inappropriate and and just being brats. Well, you know my kids are going to be bratty enough. I don't need to train them with a the TV, right? You know, and and so those are those are all issues that, you know, I I um, have always paid attention to in my life and especially in the life of my children, uh, because uh, they're going to have a hard enough time. You know, why would I pump this stuff into them? Right. You know, and, and so, again, you have to have some discernment, and, and uh, not everything is neutral, and a lot of things are detrimental. And so, you know, watch out for it. Yeah.